century helping the dying and destitute and was awarded the Nobel Peace Prize for her work. But as a volunteer in 2008 and Mother Teresa's Missionaries for Charity, Emily Gonzalez saw a darker side. I saw things like mouths washing needles with tap water and reducing them on patients. Uh, I saw patients dying without proper diagnosis. Today, Gonzalez runs his own unique movement called Hare India and is a vocal opponent of Mother Teresa's organization, pushing it for more financial transparency and better care. I think people don't understand um, the whole dynamic. Author Susan Conroy also volunteered at Mother Teresa's hospice. Home to die is a hospital, it's a home where we took in those who had nowhere else to go. Conroy knew Mother Teresa for 11 years and wrote two books about the woman, which she says inspired her to reach out and care for those who have no one. Millions of lives 